Before I started training seriously, I'd spend four to five hours a day kicking a ball against the wall, throwing a tennis ball at a wall, or running through snow drifts as if they were linebackers. Uh, in high school, I went three months where all I did was five days a week, uh, like work up to a one rep max and squat, deadlift, rows, land my presses. But when I was writing this post out, uh, what I realized, like after I wrote those first two paragraphs is in the first one, I said, before I started training seriously, well, at the same time saying I would actually do that thing for four to five hours a day. Um, but looking back now, like I and many others wouldn't consider it serious training. Uh, but the lifting I did in high school where I was like straight grinding out for an hour a day with uh, with the lifts would be considered serious training. Um, but again, at the same time, losing myself for four or five hours at a time, but not being in the gym like that wouldn't be considered serious training. That'd be considered play. So this is like part of that dichotomy. If you if you stay in your backyard, you're not going to maximize your shit. And if you become the like the perfect clone of your favorite trainer's program, you're not you're not going to maximize it either.